Hey you guys, <laughs> I feel like I've already started this video because I just ended yesterday's video. Anyway, regardless. Oh, Abby, you're gonna wrap those now? Sure. Thank you. So we have done our school and we picked up our lunches and breakfast and that kind of stuff. I don't even remember if I filmed anything today. Oh, I filmed the girls working on their schoolwork. That's what I filmed. Um, and Jason ended up coming in and working on it one of the things with Chelsea, we're getting a routine. They still don't quite, Ashley was better today. Chelsea doesn't quite like it, but we're getting a better routine. Chelsea is almost all the way online, and so she just has to kind of work through her different programs. And I'm missing one more password for Epic. It's a reading program that she can do. So I need to find that password. I think she lost the little note card that came home in her packet. So I need to email her teacher. But we've done something different in here because we're kind of in this for the long haul. And we needed a little bit more space in here so that Jason wasn't doing his office work on the kitchen counter. So you guys know my office has this huge wraparound desk from Ikea. And normally it went to here. But we added one more on this side. This one was up in Chelsea and Ashley's room or in the playroom as a fort. So we brought it up and so now you can kind of see that that wraps around the entire room. We actually kind of like it, don't we, Abby? Mm -hmm. So Jason has actually brought home his, his printer from the store. He's also brought home all of his invoicing, his little filing box for invoicing and all that kind of stuff, his checkbook, his laptop, his all that kind of stuff, so that he can work from home. We don't know how long that's going to last, so I just wanted him to have more of a secure place to s sit down and do his stuff. But I still needed room for the girls to do their school work over here. So we actually have one more black folding chair we can put there in the middle if they end up all working at the same time. And then I've added a pair of headphones to my desk so that we can all work at the same time. The girls do their laptops with headphones and so none of us can interrupt each other. And I've given Jason some extra office supplies from my buckets, little sticky notes, pen, paper, scissors, sharpies. He ends up mailing packages now to clients and stuff. So we're getting a lot of our shoe orders rerouted to us and so he's ending up like shipping directly to customers in their homes. And so I wanted him to be able to have his scissors and his tape and his packing supplies right here at his desk to be able to um, mail that stuff and so I added the sharpie as well so he's got his butcher paper and he's just kind of set up office here at home calls reps to try and get all of his orders directly shipped to us and you know it's just kind of <laughs> our new little world and Abby is wrapping two more presents that came in the mail for Chelsea this one wasn't supposed to be a present Abby can look at this one you already looked at this one um, this one wasn't supposed to be a present because we were supposed to be using it before she had her birthday. So that didn't happen. Her, her birthday is after we were supposed to be in Hawaii. So I was going to have to just give her that one ahead of time. So now she just gets it for her birthday. We're going to work on a plan, Jason and I tonight, to try and figure out our Hawaii trip. We just had one more friend had to cancel hers because her daughter came home from her mission for the, our church. They're pulling all missionaries out of foreign countries. So it's a bit crazy. She got 10 hours notice that her daughter was coming home from Brazil. My niece came home from Brazil as well. I think they're probably on the same plane. <laughs> um, so a lot of people having to cancel plans and travel arrangements and stuff. So we're going to have to figure out our Hawaii trip for a little bit later. Cross your fingers, you guys. All right, what are you guys doing? Chelsea or Ashley's getting her life. iPad time finally, right? Oh, you're tired. Someone's a bit tired. Why don't you turn that off and lay down for a minute, honey? She's determined to have her iPad time while she's got it. And then Jason's, tell them what you're doing. I am making product for my brother. So he's getting these bands and then he has to just cut them. And then they have to go and... They don't stamp them again, they just have to punch holes in them. 
You punch holes in them and put these little things and then they go in instruments to keep the pads open. Key yeah. leaves. Key leaves, stuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so he's set it up here on the warm fire front and working and watching. What are you watching? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. So Jason and I, we are gonna film a little sit down video, try and lighten the mood. So that video will go up tomorrow, I think. I'm just gonna do a Q&A type. We're gonna ask each other questions and answers and just to kind of lighten the mood around here, ourselves and for you guys, it's not always this doom and gloom stuck in our house kind of thing. It's rainy and cold and Drizzly, so we can't go outside and enjoy anything outside today, in which we shouldn't be anyway. So we'll do a little bit of a different video for you guys tomorrow. And then we'll just kind of keep going throughout our day today and see what kind of exciting thing happens. We're done with school, technically. I might have them get on one more program later, but for right now, they're kind of done. All right, we're playing our champion round of Rima Cube, and I just got a killer 30 points. Abby is, she goes out fast. So, I gotta catch up and make her go out. We are making a fort list with your name, time you wanna come in, and the sticker. We're gonna have stickers for the whole family. And then guests. Like today we made this fort. Fort tour, go! Let's go. Wait. Yep. So I scooch in here. Okay. Yep. So here's the room. We need to turn in the lights because it's oh, black. Okay. <laughs> you want the camera? Yeah, like there's none. Welcome to our room tour. Let's come with me. We have our beloved glow up. Should be ready for me. And um, some light ups on the wall. Get a look at them. It can fit two people. Yeah. Right? Can't see. And maybe like um, we could fit like a toy back here. Like a back here. By the trash can. Yes, by the trash. We don't <laughs> put that like that. And just a bunch of cool stuff over here, like pillows. And we can put something over. Like, like what? It's like a person. It's kind of weird. Like yeah. Chelsea sometimes goes in here at night and she <laughs> like, <laughs> and she like, she wants to do like this 24 hours in the fort. But like, if you do not want to go in like this like area for in the night, because it's like, it's gonna be so pitch dark. black. I'm probably gonna take this little stuffy in here. So light up. Yes, mine. I got it for my birthday. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a room tour. Welcome to my room. Right here, I have my little bead bag. I call it a bead bag, but it's really a blanket. It's an Elsa blanket. And I have my iPad right here. And I have a little bed. I had. I got this from. Um, Utah ones, and I got me a little pillow, my switch pillow. It turned two pineapples, two hearts, and then I just lay back sometimes. Are you filming? I am now. I got my nice little bacon guard on here. Let me turn the fan off so you can hear me. So I'm making up some more bacon. Everyone ate the bacon last night. And I didn't finish talking about my soup last night because, well, let me, let me explain why. <laughs> because we, when we went to release the pressure on my Instant Pot, I guess I put too much liquid in or something because it just, oh. hang on. All right, put more bacon in the pan. Took off what was making the alarm go off. Our alarm is like, right there oh where is it anyway you can see it right there on the ceiling 
and it's perfect aim for the smoke, any kind of smoke that gets kicked up from this. I went to relieve the pressure on the Instant Pot and I guess I just had too much water in it because it just, it was like a fountain. It, I mean, just liquid just shooting. I probably actually have it here on the wall. I do, and it's clean the wall, but it's splattered all over the floor, all over the counter, all over me. It was insane. So I had to lower the pressure release and do a natural release, so that took forever. And then we had to try and get the lid off without getting liquid everywhere, and it was just, a, it was a nightmare. So it kind of overcooked the, um, this is the potato soup today. It's cold, so it's all in a lump sum, but anyway, and so it was just really crazy, and so we hurried and served it quick right after it came out, because we were already to like 7.30 by the time we ended up being able to eat, and I felt bad because we had our Kaylee's friend here having dinner, and I just felt bad we were eating so late, so I just didn't film any of it. It was just, it was a mess, and then... When we went to put it away and clean up and clean the kitchen, I had the lid to the Instant Pot. It's right here. I'll kind of show you. Oh, that's exactly what it did. Okay, so the Instant Pot itself was filled with like liquid itself. So we had cleaned the lid, but see how it's still dripping out? And then I went to put the lid and the pan back away and I thought I had cleaned everything out. And the pan itself was just filled with liquid. And I didn't know that, so it dumped all over the floor. As I was putting it onto the shelf in the pantry right there, and then the toaster fell on my toes. <laughs> and I thought I had broken my toes, I had to sit down, I had to put ice on them, Jason had to mop the floors. It was, it, it was a nightmare. So, that's, why we, that's what we did last night. And so now I'm making a little bit more bacon to go on my potato soup, and we're gonna call it a night because again it's already 7 30 we're way late on dinner time so that's what we're doing right now the kids are over here eating and enjoying their screen time tonight Abby's already eaten and Kaylee is at her friend's house so it's just this is what we're doing uh, Chelsea Marie <laughs> oh my gosh you have my namesake and you burp like you are a man. No more bacon. You're done. Go. No! It's not <laughs> Little. All right. So once you get the pressure released from the potatoes, then you add two cups of cheese, like grated cheese to that, and you mix that up. And I think I messed up. I, I think I added flour to the pot before I started cooking everything, like after I did the onions, I think. But I think I should have done that after the fact. And so I think I thickened it while it was cooking. And you're, th you're supposed to thicken it afterward when it's kind of liquidy. So I think that's where my mistake was. So you add the cheese after it's been cooked. And then you saute that until it's thickened up. And then it looks like this. So lesson learned. But round two tonight, I'd say that looks pretty good. And then I made a cheese sandwich to go with that. Pretty good dinner for tonight. All right, we're gonna end our night. Mom's trying to redeem herself at this. Abby, can I see the score real quick? One sec. Okay. What do we got? Well, I just went out with zero, but I'm up to 75. Five? Yeah, 75. And Dad's at 47, and Abby's at probably like 30, what, 35? Dad hasn't gone up yet, he hasn't Oh, he hasn't added his up? Yeah, 35. All right, all right. So we're just gonna end our night with you guys here. We're gonna play one more round of this with the kids and then put them to bed. So thank you for watching and I honestly don't know what Chelsea and Ashley filmed so it's gonna be fun to edit that. They showed you their fort and then while they, while they were playing and whatnot. So that will probably be really cute. But take care and we'll see you tomorrow.